dogs forgive cats or is it the other way around cats forgive dogs mm. can dogs forgive cats can cats forgive dogs well these dogs forgive cats cuteness seem not an issue on this pandemic world i tried to google for cuteness sake 0.52 seconds later what popped out are these 58 million 800 thousand results for example how to forgive a dog or dogs that kill your cat do animals forgive if we put them down are cats forgiving why did my dog kill my cat can cats categorically not forgive? There's nothing about dogs forgive cats or cat forgives dogs. Well, let's listen to this uh, dogs do forgive humans, not cats, according to cuteness team. Dogs do forgive, but it may not be the same type of forgiveness you recognize within a human emotional spectrum. I ponder seriously. Mm. Dogs, cats. Cats, dogs. But then I realized dogs and cats are animals. There is nothing in their being to inspire them to forgive. There is nothing in their language which shows forgiveness. Forgiveness is a human language. It is a human need. It is a requirement for humans to be appreciated into the level of the divine. Perhaps it is not a requirement but a need to unfreeze the hardened human heart so that the divinity of the person shines. Forgiveness is always present. It is always there in the heart of every human person. Only one needs to look deeply into one's heart. God is happy when one forgives. When forgiveness is asked, the person who asks for it receives it. You may like to see the first reading in Sirach, chapter 27, verse 30, to chapter 28, verse 9. God himself is abundant of forgiveness, according to Sirach. This we see also in the Gospel story of Matthew, chapter 18, verses 21 to 35. In the Gospel, the Master forgives the debt of his servant, and the servant is expected to do the same. But this does not happen. The forgiven servant shows no pity on his fellow servant. He asks to pay for his debt instead. And upon knowing this, the master punishes the unforgiving servant. You see, there is the social truth in forgiveness. St. Paul tells us in the Romans, in the second reading, none of us lives for himself and no one dies for himself. Romans chapter 14, verse 7. How does one survive if forgiveness is not given to people in the community? Jesus forgives the woman caught in adultery. He forgives the sins of those who laughed and nailed him on the cross. He forgives the criminal crucified beside him. All these are not for his personal gain, but for the sake of other people and of God. He forgives all for the sake of community to live in peace. We all do need forgiveness to ask for it, to offer it, our hearts would tremble if we don't. Our hearts become restless when forgiveness is not released from the depth of one's heart. I have found a song when I need a quick relief of forgiveness from God, from myself, and from the people I hurt. I play it over and over again until it sinks into me. Leaves will soon grow from the bareness of trees, and I will be all right.
cry and die. From waves overgrown come the calmest of seas, and all will be all right in time. Oh, you never really love someone until you learn to forgive. Beautiful song. The holy sacrifice of the Mass is forgiveness given and shared by Jesus Christ. The forgiveness in the holy sacrifice of the Mass comes from deep down in God's abode of a loving heart. Thanks for watching. Happy weekend, everyone. See you again next weekend. God bless you.